Whew. Sorry, I have my vacuum going right now, so it might be a little noisy in the background, but I um, wanted to show you guys something that I had an idea for. I saw this top on Pinterest by, um, I believe it's Larika Matoshi. I'll put the at on the screen in the photo reference, but I have a ton of neck scarves and just like random fabrics that I've like saved because I thought like the design was really pretty on them. And I feel like this top is kind of like an easy upcycle situation that I can do. I think I want to start trying to produce for the markets and also just like make content around because I feel like it's something that people can do if they can sew. But I feel like what makes what I do special is that like, so I've had these fabrics for like, some of these maybe years, um, like when I'm thrifting or whatever and yeah. I feel like after seeing that top and with like the fairy core coquette stuff going on, I feel like I can make something really cool. These three things and I mean the pink, this will be one, but there's enough of this fabric to make, I guess, other versions of the same idea. And yeah, I think what I want to do is kind of just make like simple versions of designs and then like maybe like one or two like intricate versions of the design because I think for me as like a design, I don't even know what to call myself anymore. But like for when I want to design, I feel like for me, it's about like making the maximal impact with like the least amount of, I don't know what that word is like. Like I don't want to use more than I need to and I just want to like work with what I have and make it the craziest I can. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone but me, but yeah, that's kind of like my thought process. So I think I want to make, you know, maybe like simple, like maybe I'll just do like a tube top or something like that, or like a tank top out of this material. But then I think I also want to make a crazy design. I don't know, because I think about like how designers are, like high end designers are today. You need to make something that is relatable, but like still has your vision in it. Like, I don't know, I feel like that's why a lot of people make like t-shirts, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, classic silhouettes that like anybody could wear. And I feel like you always need to have that basic like silhouette down if you're a designer. And then I think you also need to have your like unique perspective. So I feel like it's like your showstopper, your party trick basically. I feel like that's kind of like how I think about being a designer, if that makes sense, when it comes to clothing, at least with how I want to approach it, because everything I'm gonna make is gonna be unique. I never want to really like produce things. And if I do produce things, all the like materials will be like carefully selected or like there's gonna be some type of thought process. Like it's never gonna be just like, here's a bolt of fabric, let's cut and sew a bunch of patterns and like make a bunch of the same thing, if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like upcycling is kind of becoming more popular now. And that's why I was like, okay, I'll just share these thoughts I was having when it comes to upcycling because I feel like this is something that I'm upcycling like Levi's shorts since high school. And I think just like at this point of being or like doing upcycling as a hobby and now I think just taking it more seriously now. It's just an interesting space to navigate because it's so popular and like a lot of people are getting into it. But I feel like it is a very, very hard thing to be, I guess like, like to sell your stuff, I feel like it's like, there's so few and far between, you know? I feel like you have to be the best at what you do or you just have to have something that's like easy to execute because sewing is very time consuming. And I think for me, it's hard because I could never do something that's like a simple patchwork. Like for me, yeah. And I think that's kind of why I've struggled with like actually going for it when it comes to upcycling because everything I do is so intricate and it is hard when people don't understand like how much time and energy and effort I put into it. And like, I'm at the point where it's like, I mean, it's not about making the sale for me. For me, it's about like creating the thing and showing people. And like, if they like it, like I will have my price on it. And if they don't want to pay it, like I'm okay with that. Like I don't need to sell it. So I guess that's kind of like 
what I've been navigating with doing all the upcycling stuff because a lot of people ask me about it and my main business is vintage. Like my money does not come from upcycling. Upcycling is just a hobby that I do. But I think it's just been interesting because more of my opportunities have been for sewing and upcycling when that's not my main thing. So I guess when it comes to my business, it's just been interesting to navigate because I started as a vintage reseller and wanting to make it a clothing brand. But now it's kind of like the opportunities I'm having are shifting. So yeah, it's just an interesting place to be in because I never really kind of like saw myself as being a designer or sewing or getting attention for my sewing. I just like to sew. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was going on a tangent about that with my friend last night. I feel like there's other creative people out there that can relate because I feel like a lot of creative people can do multiple different things. And I think it is just hard to figure out what the one thing to focus on is like while doing everything else, but I do feel like it is important to have a focus. And just, yeah, lately things kind of just are pulling me in that direction. And it doesn't mean like I want to step out of doing vintage. It's just more like I'm just going to lean more into one way because vintage always like informs my design process. I feel like I always reference vintage pieces to kind of like get my base down, like my bo the body or how I want it to generally fit. And then I kind of like tailor it from there. Anyways, I'm going to start maybe drafting out some ideas today. I don't know if I'm going to start, but yeah. We are so bedhead today. I, I don't even care though. I just watched... I just watched the teaser that Sean did with Gap for his like collaboration. I feel like you guys should watch that on his Instagram because if you're into design or your own business or whatever, because I feel like the way he talks about his creative process is almost exactly kind of how I think. And I just thought it was really interesting to just like hear him say everything like so basically he's working with gap doing a collaboration i don't know what it looks like it's probably out by the time the video drop this video drops but i thought it was cool because he had this whole rack of like archive gap pieces and he was like explaining like all the different elements of gap that he likes like whether it came to the material or the way the stripes are done or just like the silhouettes or whatever it was about each piece and i think that's something that actually let me close my door i just think it's really cool how i feel like just watching that kind of validated why i love vintage so much and why i got into it in the first place and why i thrift because i'm always like searching for pieces that i think have i don't know there's like a special quality to everything that i feel like i pick up whether it's the material the silhouette the nostalgia attached to it and how it makes me feel and i feel like people that do vintage reselling like have that ability to like pick up on that item and kind of like translate that to the customer that may or may not like see in it as well and i think when it comes to design i think having that kind of like foundation of vintage and no Knowing different silhouettes, like being able to see different clothing construction, noticing details on clothing to kind of like, like understanding each piece and like what the best part of it is. I think that's kind of like the core of like, if you had to break it down to like something simple, I feel like that's kind of like vintage reselling. And I think when it comes to design, like having that as the foundation, that kind of helps to inform like a good design process. Cause I feel like sometimes you can be creative and you can have all these ideas, but I think being able to use all these ideas in a constructive way is the hard part. And I think that's where like being creative can only get you so far. I feel like you do need that like guiding, you need guiding either principles or like rules or something because I think, yeah, it's like you can create stuff to create, but I think there always is gonna be that balance of like needing function. Unless it's like a straight up art piece, you know what I'm saying? But I guess I'm just specifically talking about like clothing where it's like, 
there is a level of like, it needs to be wearable. It needs to be functional. I think it's kind of like my guiding principles, like no matter how crazy I want it to look, it still needs to be comfortable and easy to wear and like functional. Cause otherwise I just feel like you're wearing a costume. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll go on forever. This is like my rack of ideas basically and um, it's stuff that is either damaged or reference pieces like I put my champion pieces at the front and then like these, oh my goodness, Dolce, okay, these pants, it's like my Pinterest nose, like this pair of pants, if I can find it I'll put them up. They're by Dolce & Gabbana and they had this like same bag that I had and they put this bag like on the front of the leg basically like that. But so I just wanted to like play off of that like piece that I saw online cause like I love trip pants. So this kind of like gave me that like trip NYC vibe. And I just liked the idea of having like this super heavy functional pair of pants. And these are like vintage utility pants and yeah it has pockets on it so I just thought like I could play with the bag to kind of like make it even more I guess like military utilitary u utilitarian yeah and then like I have so many pants like this so that's also why I was like okay like what can I do to these kinds of pants for a night so this is just kind of like an idea it's not like yeah it's a mess but let's see Basically, I wanted it to tie on the side so you can adjust it and you can do this, but all the trick is that you can also make it a top, which I don't know. I think right now people want to have different looks for different things, but I feel like a good way to design something is something that you can wear multiple ways and then also so i think ties are like a nice way to kind of like make something fit you differently whether it's because you like your body changes or you want it to look differently so yeah i had like an idea in my head where i wanted to make something like adjustable and convertible but still like pretty and feminine because I feel like tech wear a lot of that stuff is very like tomboy masculine and I feel like this is like something you could wear to a rave or going out to dinner or lots of things and the fabric doesn't stretch so it's also important for me to design stuff that like doesn't really have a lot of stretch because a lot of vintage stuff doesn't have stretch i mean t-shirts have like a little bit of stretch yeah so that's also why ties are kind of like something i like to incorporate because it allows you to make something fit you nicely or fit multiple people nicely we are excited about this one Maybe I'll try making this in like a different fabric to see how it executes, but in lace, I was like, this will be perfect. I'm gonna look through and see what else I have because I have one strip of the black that's the same size as the one I used on this top and then extra scraps. So I'm gonna try to brainstorm a variation of this top to make like maybe like a shorter version that's just a top that doesn't necessarily be or can be worn also as a dress. But yeah, I think I'm trying to pressure myself to finish things within a day, even because I think there's a level of like, I need to push through finishing faster when I'm designing something. And I think just like moving on to the next thing, because I feel like every time I make something, I get closer to making a better thing. So yeah, I think that'll kind of be my summer vibe is just working on upcycling projects, thrifting, doing occasional flea markets. I finished her, just gotta sew this on. She looks good. Got my messy piles in the back, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. It's like the first thing where I'm like, I will wear this out because I feel like I'm pretty critical with everything I make. So if I wear it out, it means I'm very proud of it. <laughs> Update, we are patchworking the lace onto itself so it's less sheer. Yep, adding some more layers just so it's like more wearable. So I mostly did it in the front on the top and then 
I added more to the bottom and then I'm gonna sew all this down now. I have another scrap, so I'm just gonna like finish the edges and add it as like another tassel. And this is what's left of that blue material I had. So I could also use this to patch over to make it less sheer. And it kind of like adds some like structure to it the more layers I add. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish sewing everything I pinned down, try it on again, and yeah, go from there. I think I'm basically done. Layered more scraps. So it's not as sheer. I guess I can add more there, but I think she's cute. This design, I feel like is something that could translate to like a lot of different fabrics, except for maybe like denim or like thick materials. But I think it'll be a cool way to upcycle like scarves, old slip dresses, and random dead stock fabric I have. But yeah, this was easy to do. It was just time consuming because it was lace and I wanted to layer it so it could actually be wearable if you don't want to wear a bra. Cute. I'm gonna try to make more of these. I'm going up to the Bay Area tomorrow to go to Soso Market on Hate Street to pick up all my stuff because the lease was only for a month. And then I'm gonna go home and visit my dad for Father's Day, spend time with my grandpa and my dad, see some friends, and then I'll be back in LA probably either Sunday night or Monday and then just back into the regular grind. But yeah, I want to start making things like this to sell at the market just to see what people think of it. Um, but yeah, I just love the, I love the way this fabric is and I knew like the flower would look cute. So it all goes together.